as of now we are promoting the use of fuel efficient stoves which uses 40% uh, less of fuel wood as opposed to the three stone fire cooking and we use them outside the house you can cook it in the open air or you can use it in a small kitchen In Malawi, they use these stoves to cook their food so they can eat. These stoves are great for saving trees. The stove is very useful because one, it uses less amount of wood, which means we cut less trees in the forest. Secondly, it produces less amount of smoke. Smoke is very bad for our health because it brings problems with the breathing, the respiratory diseases. So uh, using a stove is very important. We um, started by putting the clay into a plastic beaker with a bag uh, inside where we then pressed different pieces and sizes of clay into the uh, into the mold. I'm making the wall of the making the wall of the pipe. And I'm making sausages for it. <laughs> Steve said if you want to finish um trimming the top then now the paper over. Once the mold was filled with clay we then emptied the, uh, the clay out of the mould by just turning it over and giving it a gentle tap. The uh, clay was then released from the mould. We took away the bag and then we used a heat gun uh, just to dry out the clay a little bit. Right, what I'm doing is smoothing my pot so when it comes it'll be a good pot. I've just smoothed my pot and now I'm taking it to steep so we can heat dry it and cut the door out. Normally you just leave the, uh, the pot to dry out naturally for a number of hours. Uh, once the uh, pot was uh, dry enough to work on, we then cut a, a chamber out the front of it uh, so where the, they'd be able to light the fire. And uh, then we uh, stuck clay handles on the side and then three little feet on the top for where the cooking pots go. Uh, then the students uh, use decorating slips uh, to colour and decorate the surface of the pots so they could identify them as their own. Most families in Malawi go to the forest to collect wood. Usually it is the job of the women and the girls in the family to collect wood and light the fire for cooking. When I was a little girl, it used to take me six hours to collect wood from the forest. Often, girls miss school because their families need them to collect wood. So if the stove uses less wood, this means fewer trips to the forest and more time for other activities. These stoves are good because they produce less smoke. That's good because otherwise, the smoke will go into people's chests and make them ill. So here we go, we put our pot there and we do our cooking. In Malawi, a family of six using this stove produces only 3.5 tons of carbon per year. In the UK, one person uses 10 tons of carbon a year. It's been a really great project. We've learned all about um, Malawi as a country. We've certainly learned all about how much carbon we produce in the UK and that's really astounded myself and really educated the children. When wood burns, carbon dioxide is released into the air. Carbon dioxide is one of the greenhouse gases causing climate change. The effects of climate in Malawi, we are already experiencing them. In some cases we are having droughts, in other cases we are having floods taking away people's crops in the fields and at some other instances we are seeing the storms blowing away uh, roofs of the houses and schools. So already we are experiencing the impact of climate change in our country.
So people in UK, you are producing a lot of carbons and the, we in Africa, we are the ones suffering the consequences of this. We need to start doing something about that so that we reduce that 10 tons to a reasonable limit. Thank you.